welcome back to another John John Cast podcast. In this podcast, I'll be uh, doing a little review of, from the PlayStation 5 showcase that was shown a few days ago. So, without further ado, if you're new to this podcast, if you're new here in this podcast, make sure to feel free to subscribe. That will help me a lot. So, let's get right into the showcase. On Wednesday, PlayStation has released, finally released the PS5 release date and the price. So the price for the PS5, there's two versions of the PS5. There's a standard one with a disc drive, and there's a digital edition. A standard PS5 console will cost you five hundred dollars. Or 500, uh, 450 pounds, UK pounds, and the digital edition will cost 400 or 349 pounds, and they're both released, supposed to be scheduled for release in November on November 13th, and the PR is supposed to go on, supposed to go live on the 17th. Then at night at midnight, it was all the pre-orders were just they were pre-orders were sold out within three minutes. We're talking about Amazon, Walmart, Target, uh, Best Buy, any place you can think of. Then during the showcase, we were some trailers for the upcoming games for the next gen console. The first one is Final Fantasy 16, which which was long rumored. We went about on social media and in this we got the whole reveal to be revealed on Wednesday. And the graphics for that game is kind of it's like good. All the incre- yeah, all those graphics and the gameplay was like awesome. I, I'll give them get Square Enix and the de- developers like that. And then we really then the next trailer was the Spider Man, Miles Morales. So that game Kicks ass. It really does. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm probably not gonna get the get Spider-Man because I'm not. I'm not that big fan of Spider-Man. But the lot. But Spider-Man Miles Morales is is launching on PS4 and PS5 in 2020. Uh, so I don't know. But if you haven't seen the trailer, go on YouTube or watch the trailer for PlayStation. is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy announcement. The Harry Potter games. My, my, uh, some of my family members are huge Harry Potter fans. And this one is scheduled to come on with PS5, the next-gen console. Next to that, we're going to be Evil 8, or we're going to be Evil Village. The Harry Potter Evil 8 is like more scary than Resident Evil 7 Final Resident Evil 8 is more terrifying than the 8 and uh, 7 And yes, the next trailer is Jackson is called the Black Ops Cold War The next game next Call of Duty game is supposed to come out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on the third when the PS5 if you feel like you want to now on your console or PC, you will get access to the goods. And we got the goods and that the thing is going to be bring back the car. I put the 65. I put the PS35. Then the next one we heard is going to be sold. It's a big play at all. That one's scheduled to come on the PS5 for the next gen console. Then we got Deathloop release window. Um, Deathloop is like an action horror uh, event, action adventure. It's supposed to release in spring 2021, and they definitely just 
that gameplay is like awesome. The next one is Odd World Soul Storm. Most of these games I'm not familiar with. Most of these games I know. But Odd, Odd World Soul Storm. That's supposed to come out. The, I guess the. It's got a bunch of good cinematics and gameplay. But this one's scheduled to come out to the PS5. And the next one is for all the Five Nights at Freddy's fans. The new Five Nights at Freddy's game. This one is called Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. When I saw this trailer, it was like, oh my god, I really need to get this game. But it's coming. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is supposed to be coming to the PS5 and PS4. As a time, the only thing is, it's going to be a time console exclusive. It's going to be releasing on other platforms three months later. Then this is for the Devil May Cry 5. The Devil May Cry franchise fans. Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. It was announced at the showcase. I was watching the showcase. They took the update, the hardware for the PS5, better graphics, cinematics, they use it with ray, they use ray tracing, and, and achieve the code better 4K 120 FPS. They included Dante's brother, Virgil, as a new playable character. They also added a turbo mode. That should let you play at one, like one and a half times the usual speed. And yes, of course, because we all know this was coming to the next gen console, Fortnite. The the creator, the developers of Fortnite, has optimized the game for PS5 right at console launch on November 13th. And this is new that's announced for the next gen console PlayStation. It's called PlayStation Plus Collection for PS5. Is a what this is is a brand new benefit for PlayStation for PlayStation Plus subscribers. And it's I guess it is a sweet deal or an awesome deal because basically subscribers get a whole bunch of downloadable PS4 classics when the console launches on November 13th. They told us we can get Resident Evil 7, The Last of Us Part, The Last of Us, The Master, God of War, and much more than the Uncharted franchises. So, I uh, hope y'all, which game y'all are looking forward to the PS1 and PS5 launches on November, on November 13th. Me, I'm looking forward to the Resident Evil 8, because I'm probably going to get the digital version at the release. Probably my tax season. Yeah, I guess right now I... <laughs> there's no way. But, um, I'm looking forward to the PS5. Because it looks like a Wi-Fi router. So, if you guys enjoy today's podcast, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss the next episode. I know when the next episode is going to release, but it's going to be soon, so once I get the game news from Gaming Industry, what's going on in the game world, I will record it on the podcast, so thank you guys very much for tuning in and listening, also the John John Cast will be coming soon to Amazon Music and Pandora this year, so... Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in a brand new episode of the John John Cast Podcast. Peace.